What's that? Gourmet hot dog? Ooh. I want a gourmet, gourmet hot dog. It just says that. It's nothing. There is nothing gourmet. No, no. There is nothing gourmet about those hot dogs. Down, sir, what kind of gourmet hot dogs we got? Okay, okay, go ahead and go over there and get a gourmet hot dog. <laughs> you get a gourmet stomach ache. Y'all, no, I love hot dogs with a little like side part. What is wrong with? I don't understand. I just like, do. I don't know. It's like you want botulism. <laughs> like you Man. just you're like, please give me something that one. <laughs> Yo, what go on, Big Nation crew? This is your boy, Biggs, and I am back, back, back again with another video. What is Actually, lackluster? Lackluster? Like, there's no I don't know. I mean, I've been low, man. I've been low energy like, all week. It was back, back. back yeah. Okay. Do I need to come back and fire off another? Yeah, I think you should try again. All right, hold on. Let me bring it back. One big nation crew, this is your boy Biggs, and I am back, back, back again with another video. And listen, man, yes. <laughs> make it do what it do. What we do. <laughs> so, we are back, back, That's back good. again. Um, so of course, I'm out of the house, clean. I can't whistle, but I'm clean. <laughs> I'm just kind of on a little casual fit today because I'm going to the doctor's office and then got a bunch of errands to run. So we'll be running back and forth all over the city today. A gang of errands. Yes, a gang of errands. So, of course, my crew, you guys know, you rocking with your boy. So you got shotgun. I mean, I got shotgun. You guys got back seat. <laughs> Kind of, I mean, just get in where you fit in. Just <laughs> find a spot. You ro you rocking with your boy, okay? <laughs> just know that you're rocking with your boy all day long. Listen, if you like it, you love it. If you don't like it, well, watch it anyway. Damn it, you ain't got shit else to do. <laughs> if you're new, yo, this is your boy Biggs, and you are here at One Q Fat Boy, and I appreciate you for taking time to come and view my channel and see what the going is going on and I am more than sure that you will have a laugh or two and if I don't give you a laugh or two and I don't make you smile then yo I swear I promise I guarantee your money back <laughs> where are you getting that kind of deal your money back <laughs> and if you're not new then hey yo you already know what to do crew like comment share smack the notification right, button if you haven't already and if you are new then most definitely you go ahead and subscribe because hey why not and it helps your boy out and um i mean i really appreciate you guys you guys have been so supportive yo the numbers are growing man i've Woo! gotten so many new subs to the holiday. like you are you can tell you got a full night of sleep. I mean, use a little. You, oh no, you know. Yeah, it's like two or so. No, I don't know if it was like two or so, cause. Cause we were watching the Wiz and we were singing along. Yes, we were watching the Wiz. Yeah. And I did sing along. You did. Right, I, and yeah. protest. I did sing along. <laughs> um. Who's, He's going down. He's shut, going down. No, Lord, I knew it was coming. I knew I was trying to get there. He's you guys saw I was trying to change it. I'm trying to switch it before it came. But I know. Oh wait, wait. Oh, I forgot. Of course, it's your girl. F W P, honey. Hey, is in the building. And uh, oh no, what not? No, I just had to make sure I introduced yourself. You know, cause. You know, we had good, no, 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 <laughs> none. <laughs> Listen, man, shout out to, man, the creative force that was 
behind the Wiz. The Wiz yes, is the dancing, the makeup, the wardrobe. Oh my god! Man, gosh. it was. I I really believe like all of the live action um, plays and um, remake movie remakes and stuff like that that are coming through Disney. And all I really believe like they are all sampling the Wiz because. The Wiz was like, I don't know. Iconic. It was 40, 50 years ago. I have no idea. But it was iconic. It wasn't that long ago. How, it's got to be at least 20. What year did The Wiz came out in? I don't know. But it had to be like in the 70s or something yeah. like that. It's so old that I remember going to um, the video rental store and getting it on VHS to watch. Oh, wow. That's how old. I never did that, but... <laughs> I mean, it is definitely. It was not but... on TV back then, so you had to go get it on on tape. Wow. So we just behind the bus. And I can't get out. Behind the bus. There's people everywhere, and the bus is just sitting there. Yeah, pretty much. So I wonder if I can flip this around. Oh, skiz it! Now, before you guys knew when I was filming, and I'm filming with my phone today. You guys knew when I was filming with the phone, like I could never like flip the script and tape outside it was always stuck in selfie mode if that's how i started i had the really? bus just stopped just like, like it just there. stopped just sitting there i don't know now we talking shit what if it's waiting on somebody that's handicapped no i don't see nobody out there what they do is like if they're early if they're ahead of schedule then they'll just like stop there to try and like Wait. get back on schedule oh, yeah no, that sucks so for your viewing pleasure you guys, this is merged from a get ready with me to a come take a ride with me. Come take a ride. That's not a song. There's not, no I way. Just that up. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's where you at. <laughs> I tell you this. I'm really surprised, guys, because um, your girl was up gaming. Gaming to like one something this morning. Um, Another plug for Fortnite. Add me on Fortnite. Faces with purpose. Wow. I don't, I don't really think our viewing audience is really on Fortnite like Some that. Some of them might, you know. It might be. You never, never know. know. You, you never know. know. You're absolutely right. You never know. You know. You never know. I mean, if your kids play, they can have it too. Yeah, your kids. I'll keep it clean. She got a potty mouth. Girl. I do. I really do. She really do. I be telling her like, yo, you got me <laughs> dropping f bombs on Fortnite. All the time. Like this is a kid's <laughs> game. Like. Most adults don't even like be on their. Uh, their uh, they're on there. They just don't they, talk about it. Right, them. because they know they be cussing and everything exactly. else. Because they know it's like some five-year-old that just killed they just them. Kicked their ass. Just beat their ass and yeah. took all, stole all their stole stuff. Stole all their loot, everything. And so you can't be on Fortnite cussing out little five and six, no, ten years old. You really can't. <laughs> <laughs> You're shitting anyway. It's so hilarious, guys, on there, like. Cause we're we're both gamers, like you guys know that. If not, now you know. So that's one of the big things that couples that game together stay together. I'll start saying. Uh, no, I'm, I mean, yeah, that's yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Although we be fighting. That's true. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> if you're highly competitive and you're both gamers and you're used to winning, then you probably, and then you you know, most <laughs> game, most really epic games are not two-player friendly <laughs> true, that's very true. so you got one person that's like in the background like damn I want to play and this is my turn another person like uh, hogging, the whole hogging, the, <laughs> hogging the controller like okay one more time one more time then you can go next one more time, right. one more time, one more time. Okay. hogging the one damn time. controller and don't let nobody and typically if you the rule the unspoken rule for gaming if you're gonna be gaming then everybody gets a chance. If you don't beat, if you kill, if, if you, you die, die then, then the next person gets the motherfucker. Move. Your chances, your turn is up. <laughs> pass it along. Play, play, pass. Pass the controller. Play, play, pass. <laughs> like if you die, then that's it. Your turn is over. You know Maybe what I'm saying? Next time when it's your hey, <laughs> when we was kids playing Mario Brothers, even though there was a two player, but it's like it's not really fun that way. No. So you, hey, you took turns playing Mario. Do, do. I knew it. So, this is what we've been doing on Fortnite. Which works well because we're both, um, we play off of our Switches, so um, it actually works pretty well. We both have our own individual Switch, so we, there's no arguing, no fighting. 
and we can both. Now the only thing is there is arguing and fighting with Fortnite because somebody likes to go and, and get, get all, all the, the good, all the best stuff, all which is the, the story of our life. But it's okay, <laughs> it's okay. And like they say, happy wife, happy life. All the med kits. Which I'm, I'm just not one who says that because I think everybody got to be happy. <laughs> yeah, she gets all the good stuff. Be happy too. Yeah. But um, that's what it is today, guys. I mean, that's what we got going on. Um, I, man, I'd really be all over the place with my videos. Like, that's okay. People like it. I guess so, cause I really, I feel like I'd start talking. Like, I start like five different things. I'll start like five different lines of conversation, <laughs> and don't finish none of them, cause I'm just I got ADD, guys. I'm sorry. Like, that's just my ADD. And when I'm just here with you guys, and I'm free and just kicking a bobo, like I don't. <laughs> Kicking a bobo. What is I that? No like, I've, I've never that's heard a, oh, you never heard kicking a bobo? Kicking the bobo. What is that? Oh, that's an old phrase. That's like you know, you just kicking the shit. Like you just, you know, you just kicking it. Like you, it's, you know, I don't know. That's just wow. These Where got guns. Going? I don't know, but she got she. They're all packing. Make she packing. Oh, I'm scared. Man, Where are they oh, going? they all suited and booted. They probably going to Chevron to get some. Uh, yeah, oh, and she's a lefty. Oh no, no, wait a minute, because that is not a I taser. Mean, what are they? Are they like security guards or something? Well, yeah, that's not a taser, that's their actual gun. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they're going to Wawa to get something to um, eat and drink, but it must be security or something like that. Are they providing security for? <laughs> I don't know, I did see some guards like on the highway and then some, I mean, not guards, but some, um, you know, people that were cleaning or working on the high side of the road oh, over back there so they might be right. armed security or armed um for the correctional yeah correctional things or whatever could you well no because you're not really comfortable with guns yet because i would say you i'm trying to get honey to get start <laughs> packing um i'm not gonna carry i mean i'll learn how to use it and you know so something happens at the house or something but i'm not gonna just be walking around with it in my Poster. Why not? Why not? Listen, this day and age, like, well, well you do it. You I, I, I plan on it. Like, one, one once, once it. I have, I, once I have you, you know, I've, i ever since we've been together, I told you, like, yo, I like to carry. I know. And you weren't comfortable with it at I first, but that. now you're more comfortable with yeah. it. Um. So. I just keep getting stuck behind all these damn trucks. That's, I don't know. You just love being in one place. All these trucks. All these trucks. <laughs> but then, of course, when you move, then that's when the other side. Exactly. That's the story of the exactly. life. Like, you move and then the other side goes. And then, fortunately, you know by experience. <sighs> Big ass chair over there. <laughs> I've always wanted to go sit in that chair. Me too! <laughs> What's that, gourmet hot dog? Ooh. I want a gourmet, gourmet hot, hot dog. It just says that. It's nothing, there is nothing you gourmet. There is nothing gourmet about those hot dogs. Down, sir, what kind of gourmet hot dogs we got? Okay, yeah, okay, go ahead and go over there and get a gourmet hot dog. <laughs> you get a gourmet stomach ache. Y'all, I love hot dogs and the little, like, side carts. What is wrong with, I don't understand, I like. I do, I don't know. It's like you want botulism. <laughs> like, you Man. just. You're like, please give me salmonella. <laughs> Can I get some extra salmonella on that? No, I just do. And my favorite ones are the little hot dog carts outside of Home Depot. I don't know why. It's got to be Home Depot, though. It's like the most dirtiest, grimiest, like, <laughs> out of place hot dog vendor. That perfect. That's you, the one you, you want. You get all your little construction supplies. You can, you know, build something new or whatever. And then you get a little hot dog. And you got to come out, out and get a hot dog on your way out. And a soda and some chips. Wow. You start your project. So you're getting a whole meal there. Yeah. <laughs> no, not. A little snack before you start your project. Not, uh, you know, I, man, I'll set the hot dog cart on fire. Wow. <laughs> Burn all them germs. Wow. Because, <laughs> you know, you don't even know, like, when, how long that hot dog water been there? He just started. What if he was real tired and didn't even, took, he just put the no, cart. No, because they got the same food standards as a regular restaurant. So you can't just be nasty and have a food cart. They don't have no food thing. Ain't no, there you is can't no. Just pull up and have a full car. I don't think. All you got to do is have a thirty dollar um uh work like a uh, what is it? Oh, uh, what's it called? It's a 
basically it's a permit for you to and then you got to have an extra one to, to to be a food vendor but it, we're talking like less than 100 bucks really? to go get the certification um license from the city No. What is it? What does it say? I know you're looking it up. Oh no, I'm looking at the map right now. Oh. Because the map's trying to take the um take the highway to get not that far. Mm. I forget the name of the thing because um. I have to Google that. <gasps> Google it. In my mind, they have like unless they've changed. They've got food inspectors that randomly like that go to carts. Yeah. So the food inspector just coming by yeah, he checks one day and just going like, to different okay. carts. And got a little temperature, like thermometer thing. He'd and he's sticking like, it down in the hot dog water. Like, right. Okay, yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what happened. Negative. No, no. What did I used to do? I think you went to school for like germs and stuff. Feet, no, but left what did I used to have a business doing? Oh, consulting. Consulting. Who was I consulting? Businesses. And what are some of the most of those businesses were? Asian food restaurants. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> who out of the two of us, who had to work with the uh, food uh, food people? Okay, yeah. That's okay. That's <laughs> wasn't it a county? Oh, no, that's a state thing. No. Okay, so maybe you know. <laughs> Perhaps you know. Now, the thing is, now, I, from, now, so far as the food inspections and stuff like that, from the, um, from the government agency, I've only thought, known them to go to brick and mortars. I've never known them, so it, maybe it is, <clears throat> but I've never known them. i never known, like, now, whenever we were, back in the day, we were selling dinners, and so I wanted to sell dinners like, you know how you see people, they, they like on the fair route, they would come up and they have like, they're cooking frying chicken or fish and stuff like that. And we're talking about the black fairs guys. So I'm more than sure you guys, are, you won't see this in all, all places. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then you, that was one of the things that you had to have. You had to have a, um, that's a $30 license that, just to operate a business basically like a business license and then you also had like to have like the to prepare if you're preparing foods there was some other certification that you mm -hmm. have but it literally back in back then it, it really was, wasn't much oh that's kind of disturbing yeah, it, <laughs> it's kind of disturbing listen <laughs> even even with the even with restaurants you have to have a food service manager. Every restaurant has to have one person that's dedicated to knowing like all of their, that has to have so many hours. It's literally like 40 hours that you go and take this class and you can be the food service, man, food service manager of the restaurant. And basically you're the one that lets them know, oh, you're supposed to go around and say, okay, um, check the temperatures of the, of the water, make wow. sure that all the faucets are at a certain degrees. Mm -hmm. You go and you check the, the walk-in coolers, make sure they're at a certain degrees, a certain temperature. You make sure that the, le the shelves are a certain six inches or something from the ground and then six inches from the top ceiling and then make sure like there's proper storage and food storage <laughs> and all this stuff, literally. I went and got the class, took the class. It was like a hundred and some dollars. I charged him to take it. And I was like the first, didn't know anything about this shit. No, Never sorry. knew anything. Business, didn't know anything about it. No, it was just like, I mean, I hate to say it, but basically you just, that's, that's what they do. Just they get by. Like you got to have somebody. When you said that, it made me think about that episode of, um, kitchen nightmares with Gordon Ramsay. When he went to that um, Indian food place, listen, in New York, and it went, was like the and worst. He went in there walking um, mm -hmm. refrigerated, and it was so nasty. Listen, oh. you know the stories that I've had were, Man. um, were, and this was like, and it's what made it so bad is I, I used to eat at this place, guys. This was a place that I used to be um, consulting. I had a consulting business, and so like I would would help. A small to mid-sized businesses like either with um, with their insurance or filing their insurance claims I would go and take care of all their insurance claims um, all, you know risk management um, and things like that and also mark some marketing and things like that um, and then or I for small businesses I would help people 
start their business like through getting if they need to be file the LLC or other things like that and um, so I had this one client Most that I short, actually used my- <laughs> it was the it was the nephew that took over the business for the uncle and so now I started working for the nephew because you know we had a big storm and I was heavy in insurance at the time we had a big storm that had a lot of damage to a lot of the um, restaurants and things in the area so I went around and like just drummed up business um, and he was he was one of the ones that I did business with and man when I went and I had my crew like I would get a crew of, of guys that would come and did repairs and give me estimates so that I could send those estimates off to the insurance company so that we could file the claims and get the money and things like that um, when they came back and they were like listen man um, uh, we don't know if it was a storm <laughs> but uh, it looks like what happened to their uh, cooler because their cooler the, the cooler wasn't working but at all in all actuality the the well listen the cooler <laughs> wasn't working so the guys came back when i had them coming doing doing the estimates and looking at the work and stuff that it would take to get the restaurant back up and running the guys came to me and said listen man just between you and i i don't know we can't really say if it was the lightning or the water or what that um knocked out the cooler or kind of killed it and you know was like the last last leg but um, we found like rats all chopped up in the fan. Oh hell no! And we pulled like two or three, I we think, like two or three big rats in the fan and was all mangled up in there. And I believe that's kind of what what no. killed the fan, killed the cooler. That is good. <clears throat> so, and then like I also wrote the contracts and facilitated him after that storm the business never was the same uh, so i wrote up the contracts and facilitated him selling the name and the business the intellectual property of the business to another person um which was another asian lady and she had a couple of restaurants and she was taking over their restaurant and getting like their you know their main items that they sold their recipes and basically the name of the restaurant and things like that so I had to do. A, I had to take her on a walk around in the in the back. So I walked around in the back, and you know, while she was looking at stuff, she was like, "The grease." She's like, "I have no idea when. When's the last time you changed the grease?" And he goes, "Oh, we don't change the grease. It it seasons. That's that's the seasoning." No. When I tell you the grease was like black, like tar. <laughs> And these are the chicken wings that he's, he's cooking chicken wings and cooking frying food in. I was like, come on, man, you can't. And it was like, what are those signs? And it's all like just cutting corners to save money. I'm never getting out ever again. <laughs> Listen, guys, that's why, like, my mom was very adamant. I had a, a mom and aunt that, and friend that they literally, whatever restaurant they used to go and eat at, they would ask to go and see the kitchen wow. and they would go ask joy joy tell you my mom would actually literally go it used to be i used to be so embarrassed but now i understand like she used to go oh. before we go in any place that we would go and eat she would go and be like um can we see the kitchen please and she would go and just look I mean, at the I kitchen think that's a valid request. listen it is crazy out there the things that that they do to now uh, I made my stomach turn listen I I stopped eating out for probably like a year I definitely stopped like never ate there again oh I would hope not <clears throat> and I tell my mom to enjoy to stop eating there almost there almost there oh we should go to the um tasty walk place I want some duck oh really we can. Yeah, we can. Didn't they change locations? It's like new yeah, place. Yeah, they now? got a bigger place now. Yeah. Oh, I got a um. I got a mind. I remember. I got a um. Take the next left onto North Mills Avenue. 
and you guys will notice like here you'll see like this is all like mostly I don't know if it's Vietnamese, Vietnamese or, or Vietnamese. Or, yeah, I don't think a lot of them because they're, they're Vietnamese places. Yeah. Kim Vang, yeah, they're. No, don't try to say the names. Ang Wang, Wang, yeah. That is. That's rude. Ang Ying, Ang Wang. That ain't rude. That's probably not like how you say it either. It's got a little accent over the end. That's when you make the mm sound. Okay, <laughs> I'm done with you. I'm so good. Uh uh. No, I'm not gonna go down here with you. I'm not going down this road. No. But why is the Christmas uh stuff still up though? Cause I still gotta sell that stuff. I'm talking about the on the lights and poles and stuff. Oh. <laughs> I'm talking about you still gotta sell that stuff. Oh, I thought you said the storefront. Mm -mm. I'm talking about like, why is this? It's Christmas probably going to be February, they say them things. Right? Uh, that's the... It's going to be just in time for 4th of July. Yeah. <laughs> that is not priority for the city of Orlando. We got a smoke shop called Climax. Oh. Vape smoke and hookah. Yeah, I guess you... You hit that puff. You might just. You might just. Oh. What the hell? Oh, sorry. Oh, wait a minute. Now you <laughs> wouldn't do that, but you won't do that? Sorry. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, Lord. Wow. Wow. Now you guys see it's not me. Wow. I'm thinking like, oh, you know, release. Like, oh, you know, you get that puff of cigarette and you like release your stress. <laughs> I don't know where the hell you at. I'm sorry. Really? Is that how you sound? I don't know. Wow. I never heard that before. You know what? Maybe I'm not doing something right. I don't know. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Well. All right. I'm just, I'm just teasing. Okay. <laughs> Moving right along. The Dong A Ko Alorn into market. I just feel like Blue it's respectful to try. Let's go get some tattoos. You mind if I go in and get no tattoo in a place? That looks like a nice little place. That looks like somebody's house that got like repossessed nice and they turned into a place. tattoo shop. No thanks. A very nice custom place. No. Ooh, King Cajun. Yes, this is King mm. Cajun, guys. So this is the place with the great Cajun seafood. Ah, oh, got to go there. Got to go back. It's been a minute. It's delicious. Wally's. It's not life, um, I swear there's a Wally's now. bar in every city. Like there's it like, seems like it. two in Lakeland, one here. We used to go to Why Wally's. Why going to Hawkers? Hawkers? Yeah. Hawkers is really good. I like. I, it was, yeah. I really like Hawkers. It's such a nice like little quaint area. Yeah. Firebirds, what's that? A oh, wood fire grilled place? Mm -hmm. I don't even know what kind of food that is. So everything is grilled on the fire? COVID 19 clinical trials. You got, man, if you don't get the hell out of here. <laughs> no thanks. Orlando Heart and Vascular Institute. That's not where we're going, is it? Can I go in here? Uh, no problem. Oh, it's over there, actually. The place that we went to is over there. Your place is over there. I just saw the sign up. Okay. Look, Betty on the map says it's over here. Okay, what did you say? And it says, don't enter there, which is where you're entering. Well, I was going to park right here in this handicap spot for you. Uh, I'm, let's go, let's, let's go around. around. Yeah, because okay. I would like to look at the door to see exactly where we are. Because you don't believe that we're at the right spot, even I though don't. Betty said that this is the spot. I don't trust Betty. It said Heart and Vascular Institute, right on the uh, side. We're not going to Heart and Vascular Institute. <laughs> but that's All right, guys, so we're out. So we're here. I'm going to find out where we are and get to the right place. 
and then we'll catch up with you guys in a bit.